Hi guys. <laughs> do you see anything different? Oh my god, I mean like, do you guys see anything different here? Like, I'm so excited, you know? If you see me out in these streets and I'm talking like this, it's because I definitely want you to see what's going on with these teeth. I got my braces off and I'm so excited. So like I said, if y'all see me in the streets and I'm like, hey girl, what's up? <laughs> okay, good to see you. <laughs> It's because I definitely want to show off this grill, okay? It cost me enough money, okay? So we're going to show it off every chance we get, okay? <laughs> no, but I'm super excited to have my braces off, you guys. I'm super excited, you know, to not have to deal with the adjustments and so on and so forth. Um, just a little, you know, information for those that are curious. I got it off um, Monday. January the 27th is the day that I got my braces off. Um, I do have a permanent retainer um, on my bottom teeth because the changes were so significant. Um, but then I wear retainers at night. So just a little background on my teeth. Um, I wanted to let you guys know, but I'm super excited. And you know what? Let's go ahead and jump into this video. Hey guys, Kendra here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kendra and I do lifestyle, beauty, fashion, and some travel videos for you guys. So if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, ring my bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Um, so today's video is pretty obvious you guys. I mean <laughs> You read the title. I'm going to be dyeing my hair now. I know I know I know It's frowned upon to dye your hair to dye your locks before they're fully locked However, you guys if you guys have been following me, you know that I started off with like blue hair like about a year ago uh, A year and a couple of months ago. I completely bleached my hair and I dyed it blue purple greens You know, I just had like a multitude of colors in my head um, <clears throat> From then it has grown out and it has faded I have you know kind of deposited some more blue on it But slowly but surely I've been cutting out the bleached areas of my hair So what's left right now is just the ends of my hair now when I started this lock journey, I had, um, I didn't touch up my color, so it was already faded, but I didn't want to do anything because I had heard that you're not supposed to do anything until your hair fully locked. So, you know, I just avoided the color anyway, just went with it. However, now my hair is looking really, 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 really dull, really, 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 really dry, really, really just brittle. Like it has the look of damaged hair on my ends. And the color is now greenish brown, so it looks dirty. Like literally, I was at a basketball game and somebody said, your hair looks dirty. And I was like, I mean, what can I say? It is what it is. So what I'm gonna be doing today, I'm not gonna be dyeing my full head, okay? I'm gonna be dipping these ends though. I'm gonna be dipping these ends in some color. They are still loose, they have not locked, but they're on their way. Now, the great thing about this is that before I did um, put my locks in, I did cut my hair really short. I gave myself a really nice trim, so I did cut off some of those bleach ends. However, I still have a little bit left. So all of the back of my hair is pretty much bleach free, dye free, and I don't need to dip any of those, okay? So let me give you a twirl. Okay, probably here down is probably color free. Now, these ponytails and a little bit in the back, I'm going to be dipping or applying some of the color on the ends. I'm not gonna apply the bright blue like I usually do because I kind of want this color to kind of, I want it to kind of, you know, blend in with my natural hair color. So I'm gonna be using a blue, midnight blue black color from Ion. It's a semi-permanent, it's a cream hair color. So this is going to apply really easy. So I just, you know, I have this laying around, okay? I, you know, I figured I'll just go ahead and use it. So it's gonna be like a midnight blue black. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't look too much darker than my natural hair color because it's not black. Um, it's a natural brown. So let's see what happens, but I'm definitely gonna be touching up these ends just to get rid of that terrible, terrible brownish green color that we have. So, you know, I know it's frowned upon, okay? And judge if you will, but I'm gonna do what I wanna do, okay, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and get started, you guys. All right, you guys, it says to apply this color on freshly shampooed hair, the look, child. Uh-uh, mm-mm, we're not about to do that. So what I'm gonna do first, is take off these, take out my little puffs, all right? And I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna be depositing the color. 
because I do have some ends that are not inside my puff that need to be dipped. So I'm just gonna figure this out. Thank goodness I did that trim because honey, child, let's see here. I think that would be all of the hair color. Let me just throw this in a ponytail. Eww, this gloves is sticking to my hair. And then let me take a look at the back to make sure I got all the pieces. It looks like I did. It looks like I got, I got my mirror right here. It looks like I did get all of the pieces. Let me get a little closer. I think I did. I'm gonna need a couple of hair ties. I'm gonna put it in two low ponytails so that I won't get the dye on this hair. And this hair is really locking, y'all. Something's happening, something's happening. Now I'm gonna take this down. Now my sides, I think that some of this does not contain color, yeah. And I don't want to dip this. This is where all my gray hairs is at, y'all. Shoot. I'm telling you, I cannot wait till I lock because I will be dying, honey. I will be dying. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and dip these ends because I'm not sure. Yeah, I think some of my sides have them. Okay, so we're good. So you see all this color right here? This dullness? This is what we're going to be putting the cream on. So I'm glad I got a cream because it's real simple. Literally, you just take it out of the tube and you apply it. So let's do one section at a time so that we're not all over the place. So I'm gonna just put this back and let's work on this section. Let's actually go a little bit further than that and separate it a little bit more, okay. So literally, I'm just gonna be putting this on my ends because I can't handle this dull color. So I got a little bit on my finger and literally, I'm going to try to hold where the lock is and just put it on the ends. Oh, this is nervous. You know, I probably could have just braided my hair down and maybe put a band on it. That probably would have been the best idea and I think I'm gonna do that, okay? I think I'm gonna do that, but so far, okay, that's really dark. Ooh, I don't know if this is a good idea. But we're gonna make it happen. So I'm gonna braid this. I'm gonna braid it down. We don't want any slippage, shoot. We don't want any slippage. And I have these little bitty rubber bands, okay, that I got from the beauty supply store. And I'm gonna use some of those. I'm just gonna put it on the ends, yes. That way, it'll allow me to just dye, and I can see them because they're colorful. It'll allow me to just put dye on the parts that I want to put dye on. Okay, that works out well. I don't know why I didn't think about that at first. Hello. Hello. All right. Let's do that. Let's braid this. Ooh, these gloves are like sticking to my hair. Okay, let's do that. We don't want any slippage, so let's see what we can do. <laughs> Y'all, listen, talk to your consultant, cause don't be, don't be following what the heck I do sometimes, y'all. I ain't gonna tell y'all right all the time, okay? Cause y'all know I'm gonna do whatever I wanna do. And that's on period. And that's on period, honey. Okay, so this is really midnight black. This is, oh, it just stained my, okay. So I'm gonna put some more on my finger. And then we're gonna go in on that section. And I probably should have braided them all the sections first. <laughs> Y'all, I'm just, like, this is how spontaneous things be with me. Like, I don't be having no plan for nothing. Okay, we're gonna do that. Okay, this is looking good. Yeah, this is looking great. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, just to get rid of that green, y'all. I'm so happy to be getting rid of that green. Oh my goodness. It was no longer blue, honey. It didn't turn green on me. Okay, and we're gonna have to rinse this. So I'm just gonna 
try to rinse the ends. Try to rinse the ends. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and braid the rest of this section down into um, where, the, where the green starts, really. And you know, it's not a lot on my ends. It's like probably that much. So I don't feel so bad for doing this. You know, I don't feel so bad. Um, and you know, these ends are gonna lock up, so we'll see what happens. I'm only gonna wrap this three times because it's so hard for me to get rubber bands out of my hair for some reason. All right, taking the color and applying it right on the ends there. Yes. Woo! Okay. And it's semi-permanent, so, you know, give me a good five washes, something like that. <laughs> and it's probably going to be, while I'm running down uh, my drain, because I, you know, we use clarifying shampoo, so clarifying shampoo strip everything from the hair, so... Are you guys so I am done applying this cream color to my hair and I am going to let it sit and simmer for about 30 minutes I don't know whatever the directions say um, it says 10 to 25 minutes so I'm gonna let this simmer for about 10 to 25 minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it out so I'll be back after I rinse out my hair all right you guys so I have completely rinsed out my hair and it looks a whole lot better I do still see some of the green poking through but I think it's because I didn't let it sit for that long. I think I did like 15 minutes. Maybe I should have done 30 minutes. I was impatient, whatever. So for the most part, it does look better. It doesn't look as dull. You still see a hint of blue. I still see a little darker blue coming through, but for the most part, I like it. So the, the thing that I had to remember is that because I banded um, the ends, um, that I needed to let my hair fully dry. So now that my hair is so I'm fully dry, it's probably 95% dry. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the rubber bands. So I have my shears here and then I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them out. Okay, you guys, so I am back. Hair has been taken out. I styled it a little bit, did my edges. Mm -hmm. And um, I have a, a deep side part here. But um, all in all, I am liking my hair. It looks a lot darker. Doesn't look as dull. Doesn't look as, you know, damaged or dull or dirty or, you know, all that stuff. So it looks a lot better. Um, I don't think I got any slippage. I don't know though. I can't really tell because I haven't really paid too close attention, but for the most part, I think I did an okay job. Um, I think braiding it and banding it helped a lot. Um, so yeah, but just know that when my hair fully locks, when it fully locks, honey, I'm gonna be dying fine laid into the side, okay? I will be adding some color into my hair. Y'all know I'm a fan of color. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. Check the description box for all of the products that I use. They will be listed there. And uh, as always, I'll talk to you guys down below in the comment section.